Hey guys, it's Minx here, and welcome to something that I've been done doing off and on, but I'm gonna try and make a regular thing now. This is gonna be Indie Horror Roulette. Uh, I've gone to Ichio, and I'm uh, randomly picking stuff from the front page of the horror section, and we'll see what we get. Uh, so what you got here is gonna be, um, I think we'll go for five games, and they'll be picked at random, and... We'll see what we think. If there could be demos, there could be full playthroughs, there could be a mix of things, but there'll be short little experiences all crammed into one video. And some might be terrible, some might be great, some might be in the middle. We'll see and uh, see if they get irrationally angry at some of them, which is bound to happen. Anyway, thank you so much for watching in advance. If you can, consider pledging to our Patreon. Even a dollar helps us out so much and keeps this channel going. Need to shout out our producer, Alice, as well, of course. Her links are on screen right about now, so make sure you go and check out Alice's content. She is a super duper nomkin. Oh my god. And um enjoy. Hi guys, it's Minx here. Welcome to the random horror game show. We're gonna play a bunch of demos and short games that are found on Ichio. We're gonna jump straight in. This is Fred Serial Company. Let's play. Wow. Amazing. A game that does not capture when you click play on the menu. This is exciting stuff. Already off to a strong start. It's okay, I can fix it. There we go. Well, as they start walking, ease interact. Tab to open the inventory. Control to crouch and be quiet. Move the mouse to look around. One and two to switch between items. Okay, please hurry up. When interacting, use left click to pick up and use. Okay, I was gonna say that took a long time for the controls to kick in there, Jesus. Hi, madman. <laughs> Since it's your last day, I'm giving you one of your favourite limited edition Fred Serial Company possessions to remember us by. Of course, if you ever make it out, the Serial Blaster 97. Use it with caution. Come around my office while you leave, and uh, don't worry, I'll try and persuade you to stay. Yellowhead. Well, that doesn't sound great, does it? Let's be honest with you. We have a Serial Blaster 97. Okay. I guess this is our last day at work. The 31st. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is it just muddy everywhere? Work hard, not smart. Excellent. Well, I'm glad we got our Serial Blaster 3000. Dear Fred, please get the letter as a formal notification that I'm resigning from my position as a sales executive with Fred Serial Company. My last day of employment will be the 31st of July. You will return this letter to me and refuse my request, but I assure you that I walk out of your company will be the 31st of July. I'll never look back. While I anticipate your efforts to persuade me otherwise, please be aware that my resolve is unwavering and I'm committed to leaving your company on the mentioned date. I have no intention of reconsidering. I would like to express my gratitude for the opportunities I have been given during my time at Fred Serial Company. I have learned valuable skills and gained invaluable experience that will serve me well in my future endeavours. Thanks once again for the opportunity. Sincerely, Madman Alexander Belowski. Refused, it says, obviously. Wow, cereal box revenues through the roof. So yeah, so this is a mascot horror. Um, I think there might be a few in this video. I, there is a bunch of them on Ichio at the moment. Um, I'm not quite sure where the key to the door is or why the door is locked either. But uh, I hate my job, we wrote on the desk. Well, that's kind of sad. But no key in here, which is strange. Aha. How do I equip you? Hold left click to charge the gun. When charge is released, left click to shoot. Okay. Ah, here we go. Why is there blood on our sleeve? That's how we get out. This is Yellowhead, I guess. Oh, I'm relieved to see you. My entire world is crumbling. Someone has trashed the place and stolen my precious golden spoon. I want to impress Fred in hopes of finally securing that long-awaited promotion. Listen, I don't believe you can escape tonight without my assistance. Please do me one final favour. Help me recover the stolen golden spoon and I'll do everything in my power to help you escape. I'm pretty sure it was that nasty IT guy. Look, there, the door is open now. Alright, I guess we'll, we're going along with this. Do I need ammo? Fred Spoon, Fred Spoon. Wow, those popular spoons, huh? I'm guessing we'll fight Fred at some point. This is, uh, I think, like I say, this is a demo of a full game, so, like, um, there's a... Pro there, well, there, there's intentionally meant to be a full game. This is just a teaser of what we can think. Okay, so there is ammo for the Serial Blaster. Fred's Pops. Free gift inside. 
Is it one of the spoons? The pop spoon? That doesn't sound good. I hear someone fucking crying. Any ammo in here? No. Why can't I reload? There we go. Def oh! 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 This gun has a long charge time. Like, it's actually crazy long. This is like I can heal here, but it's not letting me at the moment. Oh, we need a code to get in of some description at least. We can figure it out. More ammo. I will say, this is already better made than Gullet and the Burn Ban. <laughs> I've only been playing it for a few fucking seconds. Okay, we got some more health back. We only took one hit, to be fair. Yeah, but this or and I, I don't like mascot horror games, but this already feels more competently put together than Garden the Banban is. Oh, uh, we had Blueberry Head. I'm a hungry learner and user of technologies, willing to de dedicate his life and energy to serve Fred in his quest to make the world the yummiest it could be. Fred's cereal company was my favorite growing up, and now it's much more than that. Bachelor of Science, Software Engineering. My favorite Fred cereal was a Blueberry Balls, Banana Donuts, and an Ananas Chunks. That sounds like an Anus Chunks. Fred Cereal Company. The certificate serves as an undeniable proof that you are the rightful owner and esteemed winner of the prestigious Fred Cereal Golden Spoon. It is important that you keep the document securely stored. Please be aware the duplication or authorized reproduction certificate may result in consequences. Consequences? To my actions? Oh wow, this is squelchy. I'm guessing we need to put some kind of code in here that I don't know to get into the warehouse. Dear Daddy, I know you missed my birthday party for a good reason. Don't be sad, I still love you and I always love you. I'm nine now, I hope to see you before I'm ten. I miss you a lot. Every day I start my day with Fred cereal and think about you. Dear Uncle Fred, if you read my message too, please change my daddy's name from sad man to happy man. I don't want him to be sad anymore. I love you too, Uncle Fred. You make the best cereal in the whole world. Are we just hostages in this building? I think that is the case. Hi. Okay, let me just do this again. It's a good thumbnail. Hi. <laughs> what the fuck? Can we go? Oh, we can't go in the female toilets. They're off limits. Wouldn't want to, you know, go in an off uh, off limits area after I killed somebody. Hmm. Do not enter your break room before submitting your daily performance review. Keep up the good work, and remember, you always do better. Okay, so we need to submit a performance review in order to get in. Okay. And that should open the barrier. Huh. I do wonder if the codes is in here and I'm just being an idiot, you know what I mean? Oh, is it going to be orange, yellow, blue? Or something like that, for the different cereals he likes. It is. Okay, we got the golden spoon. Let's return this to our wonderful boss. And he'll give us a performance review probably to get into there. I think Sad Man is probably the one crying his eyes out in that room, but uh, we'll see. Yellowhead, I bring great tidings. Hi. Thanks, it's my turn to help you. We're likely to make your escape to the warehouse vent. In order to gain access into the warehouse, you'll require sad man's full cooperation. I spotted him in the break room. Here's your deadly performance review. I've done my best to irritate your handwriting. Fred won't suspect a thing. One last thing, we're in lockdown because of you. Don't be surprised if everyone hates you. Yeah, I noticed. Alright, so we have two dead and six ammo, is what we have right now, I just realised. I don't know if sad man's going to go for me, but uh, if he does, I'll fucking kill him.
need to equip. Hang on, did I not pick up? I didn't pick up the performance review, did I? It was put on the desk and I just probably stared at it like a complete, absolute dickhead moron. Because that's what I am. Yellowhead. I appreciate you, thank you. Oh, it says not now on his desk, by the way. Alright, yeah, yeah, okay. Just gonna keep the gun out in case of another one of these. The fact that they're, like, zipped into their suits is pretty horrific. I don't like that. Just fine. No, oh, more health. Excellent. Okay, sad man, can you shut the fuck up, please? <laughs> I'm sorry about shooting your head off, by the way. My friendly neighborhood's out next month, guys. I had to leave through the warehouse door, but Fred got angry at me. I don't know what, that we were under lockdown. I tried to explain this to Fred, but he didn't give me a chance. Why are we under lockdown? I'm a disappointment to our whole team. Monica won't even look at me or help me. Please take my insurance card from the table and get me the medical kit. Oh, I see. It's for the machine in the hall. <laughs> Hang on, we need to equip it first. Okay. This inventory system's a little clunky. I mean, it's not like you know, a deal breaker or anything. It's minor, it's like slightly, slightly annoying. Well, I got Sad Man's head. I guess that's Fred, huh? Hang on, what, it's- the whole thing starts from scratch again when you die? What?! What?! D fuck off! Absolutely fuck off! Absolutely fuck off and fuck that! Absolutely, I don't care if this is a demo, you put checkpoints in your demo, what the fuck?! We're gonna move on! I thought this was decent, but we're not gonna see the end of it, at the end of the demo, because I am not playing this fucking game through again. Just to get Ted potentially one hit killed. Oh my fucking god, what a load of shite. You gotta fix that. You gotta fix that. I hope the full game has checkpoints. Because that is, uh, 12 minutes I am not getting back of my fucking life. Anyway, next game. Yeah, this game won't close the options menu. This is another mascot horror. It's called Happy Land. Let's check it out. God, I love mascot horror games. Wazda for movement. Excellent. So this is going to be, I suspect, a straight-up Garden the Bam Bam clone. Um, I did apply and play Chapter Three of Garden the Bam Bam, by the way. Uh, it was, it was so bad that I didn't want to keep going. Like it was like cripplingly awful. This is at least free. Okay, that's a little bit off center that, but uh, I'll forgive you for now. Okay, I mean, if I can figure out how to leave the area, at least I'll forgive you. If I can't figure out how to leave the area within the next ten minutes. Then I will not be uh, be be too happy. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I mean, I will say, Happy Land. It's not looking too happy right now. It looks more like prison camp land. I'm already stuck. Excellent. Excellent. What? I just. I just pressed E on the glass, and something happened? I guess it was an invisible keycard? We'll just move on. I think I'll leave that in the video, because that was utterly bizarre. Alright. Yeah, we got a lovely pizza. I will tell you now, guys, Happy Land 2 is in development. I know you guys are already excited for that, but um, Happy Land 2 is in development. I shouldn't be mean. Like, this could be better than Garden of Banban. Doesn't look it on the surface, but it could be, so we'll, we'll give it a fair shake. Uh, 
Oh, the problem is the hitboxes on the items are so massive that you can't tell what you're looking at. That was a key card again, like a purple key card. Game area? Wow. God, the fun never stops here. No wonder the kids here are so happy. Okay, yeah, we picked up the purple key card. Anything else? The dining area? I mean, you know, this is free. Probably gonna just run in here and get one shot killed. I'm suspecting this. This is very Garden the Ban Ban. Lonky Pinky says, Hello, little adventurers. As I live in a forest, I help all the animals in need. Wow, Lonky Pinky. Naughty Blue says, Our mum tells us we're misbehaving, so we started doing everything to help the animals in the forest, and you should help people in need too. Wow. Thanks so much, Lonky Blues, for explaining that to me. The end is coming. I bet two year old wrote that. Very smart two-year-old wrote that. Alright, still got purple key cards, but there could be another one around here. It's hard to see. Oh, we have a note. Maybe. Uh, or not. Oh, maybe I can read it from this. Dear Michelle, I'm writing to inform you of a critical situation regarding the Lonky project. Unfortunately, the experiment has not gone as planned, and the Lonky creatures have become uncontrollable. Despite our best efforts and precautionary measures, the Lonkies have exhibited increasingly hostile behaviour and pose a significant safety risk. It is imperative we refrain from entering their habitat under any circumstances. I recommend convening an emergency meeting to discuss the situation in detail and strategize the best course of action. We must prioritize the safety of our personnel and find a solution to regain control over the Lonky population. I kindly request your urgent attention and guidance in addressing this matter. Please let me know when it would be suitable for you to meet. Your expertise and guidance are crucial in resolving this issue. Thank you for your prompt attention to this matter. Yours sincerely, Robert. Happy Land Lab. Wow, these are long notes. I can't zoom in on this one like I could the other one for some reason. There we go. I hope this letter finds you in good health and you have a productive day. I'm writing to you today the surprising and concerning discovery I recently made in the laboratories. As you may be aware, over the past few months I've been working diligently on a project involving the creation of green eggs. Through extensive research and a series of experiments, I've successfully developed three unique eggs with modified genetic features. However, the results I've obtained have exceeded all my expectations. Some of these eggs have actually hatched, revealing enormous and unknown creatures. My initial awe quickly turned into apprehension as I realized this could pose a significant problem for Happy Land. These creatures, originating from the green eggs, possess remarkable strength and endurance. They have demonstrated incredible adaptability and inherent aggression. Their presence could endanger the ecological balance of Happy Land and consequently negatively impact our environment and the lives of those who inhabit it. I'm fully aware of the importance Happy Land holds for the community and the efforts you have gone to in creating a safe and joyful environment for all of us. Therefore, I feel obligated to inform you of the situation and take all necessary measures to contain the potential threat. I kindly request you to assemble a team of experts to assess the magnitude of the problem and collaborate in finding an appropriate solution. It will be crucial to take precautions to capture and confine these creatures before they can spread further. Additionally, we should also consider the long-term effect the situation may have on the local ecosystem. I am your complete disposal to provide further information, participate in discussions or offer my assistance in any way possible to resolve the situation promptly and efficiently. The safety and well-being of Happy Land are of utmost importance and I am committed to contributing to its preservation. Thank you for your attention in this urgent matter. I look forward to further instructions and guidance from you. Sincerely, Kyle. So, I want to know why all these fucking happy locations, right, are fucking... Oh, God. Are, um... This is bad, right? Yeah, this is bad. Space to jump. Okay, I see. Um, I want to know why all these, like, Happy Land locations, or whatever the fuck they are, right? I want to know why they're all running weird fucking experiments and shit all the fucking time. It's, like, the worst fucking thing you should be doing. Like, why are they doing that? This is where, like, kids are and stuff, right? Like, why would you do that? Like, I don't get it. Like, I want... You know what I want? I want a mascot horror game, right? Where there's been, like, a horrific fire. Oh, my God. <laughs> horrific fire. And everyone dies. Wow. Oh, my God. Another game without a fucking checkpoint. People do not have 700 fucking years to fucking play shit. Oh, my God. That's astonishing. Two games in a row with... At least this one can be replicated in a few seconds. But fuck me. Like, holy shit. You gotta put checkpoints in your demos. Or they're just garbage. Okay? You gotta do it! You gotta fucking do it! I, 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 I just- I don't- I don't understand! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry for losing my shit. I'm sorry for losing my shit, guys. But this is two games in a row! Two! Without a fucking checkpoint system! This should be- the checkpoint should be here! You walk in this room, the light come on, checkpoint! Done! Boom! Sorted! Excellent! 
Jesus fucking Christ. Especially when you're shit at the game like me! I'm giving, I'm giving this shite one more go. But anyway, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by the fucking terrible fucking jump scare, right? Before I was rudely interrupted by the terrible fucking jump scare. Okay. Um, I want... Oh my god. I want fucking uh, one to be like... Let's say, like I say, it's a kid's theme park, right? And there's a fire and loads of kids die. Horrifically die, right? And there's a mascot as well. Like, it looks adorable, actually, the mascot. It's not even like... But it's melted or some shit now with, like, all the burns and stuff. And its ghost inhabits the park, right? And there's just loads of spirits of dead fucking children everywhere. None of this fucking experimentation shit in a fucking kindergarten or whatever. None of that bollocks. Like, actually something fucking creepy. You know, like, something decent. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this, by the way. Like, this looks like absolute dog shit. I mean, if they keep getting stuck on each other, I might actually have a chance, but... I've gotta wait for these two to go over to the left. I'm guessing- I don't know if they can actually get you on here. But to find out... No. Alright, so that's the safe spot. The problem is, right... There isn't really anywhere to plan unless every island has a safe spot, you know? Like, again, I actually can see the key card this time, by the way. It's on the floor under the fucking table, but, you know, you, you, God, this is just, this is just, we're, we're, we're scraping the barrel here in the, in the games. At least the first game actually felt like it was competently made up until the point when it had no checkpoints, but, um, this just feels like a absolute fucking... Train wreck mess shit show disaster pukey bum. Okay? I'm sorry. I know I'm being really negative at the moment in this video, but hopefully at least some of these will be good. Because so far, we are playing hot trash. If you fall, it respawns you! But if you fall. What? What? Oh my fucking god! I am so tilted right now! If you fall, it doesn't matter! But if you- Oh! Oh! <laughs> I actually have genuinely have no idea how you're gonna do this, because look, this guy here is always gonna be in the way of the rock. Like, he's always gonna be in the way of it! Almost made it. But it's okay, because that doesn't count as a death. That counts as a fucking death, though, because he fucking... <sighs> We're done. Anyway, this was Happy Land 1. It's an absolute pile of steaming dog shit, and you shouldn't play it. The end of the game. Next game. Alright, guys, this is Mannequin. It's probably going to be terrible, but hopefully we can at least finish one of the games in today's well, video. Store isn't at all what I pictured. Um, excuse me, but... It shouldn't matter if I bought these clothes three months ago. So curse you. And this store as well. Oh my god. She was a customer and then she transformed into an old lady and she cursed the store? Like how you think cares to make anyone happy. Go home, old lady. This is a stellar voice acting here. Alright. Hopefully this one's good. That's a key. That is definitely a key, but I can't pick it up. What the, hell? <gasps> the store's cursed and the mannequins are gonna get me. Okay, you need to check the circuit in the back. All right. I'm gonna gamble and say that this game probably doesn't have checkpoints either, but we'll see. Well, but at least so far, it's got str straight into the action. Nothing probably, right? It was just... That mannequin definitely moved. Fuck. Nice dress, though. They're well-dressed, these mannequins. Like, it's quite rare you see mannequins with clothes in horror games now, I think about it. They're usually, like, you know, like, completely naked, you know, and have fantastic what? boobs. So electric doors are out, too. Forgot the master key at the desk. Okay, yeah, so we couldn't pick it up the first time. We have to go back now with it scripted. Okay. I think this is going to be very short, but hopefully a little creepy. Okay, yeah, that's actually, that's not good. 
I don't like that. That's actually a little bit creepy. No, 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 you fucking don't. I hear it's little peats, it's little plastic peats. Okay, we've got the key. We're gonna get chased here. A hundred percent. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I don't like this. <laughs> Simple but effective here. That's actually pretty good. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on. Okay, good. You're fixing it. You're fixing it! What? I'll leave to the exit back here. Someone else can fix this tomorrow. Okay. That sounds good. I like the clear labeling. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fucking fuck. Go, 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 go. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my fuck off! No! No! It's a backrooms game! This is the worst day of my life! It's a fucking backrooms game! Yeah, we're being chased. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I got I feel like I got rickrolled. I feel like <laughs> I genuinely feel Oh god this is the end. Oh it vanished. I guess you can't die probably. Go 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 there's the exit. I see the exit. It's just the back room, it's no big deal, okay? Back rooms don't mean shit. I played a lot of backrooms games over the years. Like one of them was good, maybe. The others were all fucking awful. This was a trick! We were tricked again! <laughs> okay, this is actually decent by the way. Like this is genuinely this is genuinely alright. Not only was I trolled. Oh fuck. Oh god. Stop it! Exit this way, maybe? Ah, 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 ah. We're in the changing rooms. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fucking bollocks! <laughs> Synchronized! <laughs> that was a great little five minute experience! That was so much better than the other two poopy poops! Oh my fucking god! Anyway, that was Mannequin. Thank you very much for watching this one. Next game, let's go. All right guys, this game is called The Roach Apartment. Um, I don't know much about it, but it's made in a day. And I think this guy's doing it to promote his Bucky's Grounds, like uh, like full version horror game that's uh, available wishlist on Steam at the moment. It looks like a mascot horror. Actually, it looks reasonable. Might be something I check out at some point, but anyway, let's check out the actual game. Welcome to The Roach Apartment. We are very excited to have you here. Enjoy your stay. Just be careful, you don't know if a cockroach should be on here go there or not. Excellent. That's true, I don't. Um, why does it say sexy cockroach is trying to seduce you? Roach apartment really rocks. I love it here. I've not even seen a single cockroach in this establishment. I'm definitely coming back here for my next holiday. Roach apartment for life. So there's a cockroach that might want to fuck me, maybe? That does look like a very provocative pose, I'm not gonna lie. So why am I here? Shut up. Apparently the music in this is all royalty free, so I shouldn't worry about it too much, but still.
the fuck is that noise? Are we gonna get humped to death by a giant cockroach? Because I strongly suspect that might be the case. Sorry about the frame rate here, by the way, guys. Like, it's fucking dog shit. There's a cockroach, lovely. I'm being very wary right now. I feel like this is a, a disaster waiting to happen. Oh no. I'm living the dream here. I was in the bath and saw no cockroaches. In my home, I see them everywhere, but here in the croach apartment, I'm free from crawlers. I'll come back for more. Had to mute the music there, by the way, because it definitely played copyright music. What is that noise? Oh, this room's open here. Walls are clean, floors are clean, even the toilets are clean. I'm impressed Roach Apartment. I would rate this establishment, but there are none to give. The places are five stars because one with the Roach Become one with the Roach Apartment. I think I want to become one with the Roach Apartment, I'm going to be honest with you, but... If I absolutely have to, I guess I will. Oh, great, a key. Oh, God! Well, that made me jump and was obnoxiously loud. I cannot read this one. It will not let me pick it up. I cannot crouch. So uh, we'll just assume that it says some bollocks about cockroaches, right? That looks bad. I think this might be really bad. Oh my fucking god! Well, that was an experience that I never want to ra- oh! I was memed. I was thoroughly memed. Anyway, um, that was the Roach Apartment. Thank you for, for watching this one. All right, Nomkins, this one is called If I Hadn't Looked Down and becomes very recommended. Um, I'm ready, cozy. Yeah, sure. Let's check it out. Quite a few of you said check this out. Greg says, what's up? Ugh. Okay, I can't control this. It's just scripted. Come on. I really need to pee. Can't you just use a bottle? No way! Okay, pull over here, I think. It's a motel. Alright, don't be too long, it's gonna get dark soon. I feel like we've seen this motel quite a few times now. Guess I'll go and ask uh, where the toilet is. I guess that's Greg. Alright. Hi, sir. Well, hello there, Missy. You're looking to stay a night with your friend? Uh, no. Do you have any toilets? Uh, sure. It's just out the back. I should go to the toilet. He said it was out the back. Thanks. What could go wrong? Ow. Got a concussion from the door, first of all, actually, is the first thing that's gone wrong. Wow, there's a weird running cycle in this. Um... What do you want, you dog? I just heard a sound and thought to check it out. All oh, right, you came here for my trash, didn't you? Uh, no, I, uh... Nah, you dog, get out of here, you gronk. What the fuck? And next time you think you could steal my shit, think again. 
I should really leave this guy alone. Yeah, I agree. Where the fuck are the toilets, though? He said out back, but this is... Oh, maybe he meant through this door. I probably shouldn't go back here, but that's out back! That is literally... Literally, literally out back. Unless they're, like, in the park or some shit. It's possible, right? What a love. It's actually quite a nice park to have next to a shitty motel. Oh. <coughs> Respect for the toilet, amen, but this shit is disgusting. I'm just gonna use the portaloo over there. But this is. Look at this! It's, it's multi gendered toilets. It's very dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is not what I expected suddenly. Out the fucking blue here, but we'll take it. We'll go with it. All right. What the? What is he doing? It's the old man. You weren't supposed to use that one. Sorry, I thought it, it was locked. I better go back to Greg. What was in his hand? I guess he was just creeping on me, right? I think that's the implication at least. All right, Greg. We need to get the fuck out of here, to be honest with you. I'm gonna be real. Okay, I'm done. Let's get out. Let's get out of here. Uh. Greg. What? Hmm. I think our tires are fricked. Oh, for fuck's sake. You're kidding me. Hmm? Well, if our tires are flat, means we can't go anywhere. Someone slashed our tires. Uh. Looks like someone did this. No shit. Wait, do you think the old man? Oh my, what a predicament we have on our hands. Hmm. Oh, how about this? Hmm. I know a mechanic that could come over. <laughs> but it might take a while since he lives far. Really? Sounds good. Greg, you're an idiot. Good, come see me for your room keys. Oh, come on, this isn't bad. Have an adventure once in a while. Greg, we're probably gonna get eaten, okay? This is no fucking, this isn't like, oh, great, this is a great little adventure in the creepy fucking motel where we're gonna get killed. Hey, I'm here for the key. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yes, here's your room key. Number four. I love this voice. The key is for room number four. Please, no bed bugs. And by the way, don't be afraid to use the other toilet next time. Yeah. Okay, I think we've got the key. Uh, at least I think so, I don't actually know. There was no indication, but we'll assume. We'll assume. It's number... Where is room number four? It's a six, five, okay, it's over here. No. Oh. Well, it's something. I love that, sorry, that voice is stuck since doing decarnation. Guess I'll just go to bed when I'm done looking. Hi, Greg. I was like, who the fuck is this? And I realized it's our boyfriend. So this is probably okay. I mean, I've seen worse rooms. Why is the toilet locked? Greg? See, the room isn't that bad. Yeah, alright. The toilet's locked! That's really bad! But the old man better call that mechanic. Hey, I'm sure it'll be fine. Greg is way too chill. Yeah, that's what you always say. We are so fucked. Sleeping. It's better than shitting, I guess. I'm thirsty. I think there's a vending machine outside. Okay, he's sleeping. Fell asleep watching TV every time. There was a vending machine outside. Is it night time now? Oh yeah. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be night time in the creepy motel? It's pretty nice out here at night. Don't say that. You're gonna get killed. Vending machines were around to the left where the creepy hobo guy was, right? Yeah. Someone's gonna be behind us in a second. Any second now. The old man or the hobo. Damn, which do I choose? Don't know. But I just choose one so you don't die. I guess lemonade.
Hi. Is that a bowl of poo? Want some beans? Uh, holy shit, uh, no. I already gotta go, so, uh, I better go back to bed. Was that just a ball of feces? I don't know, I don't know what's happening. I just know that it's fucked. Man, I'm tired. I'm just gonna go to bed. What about our lemonade? We're not gonna slurp it down. Back to sleep. I'm not gonna gurgle down that delicious slurpy derpy lemonade. What is that noise? Oh, my stomach hurts. I need to go to the toilet. It's gonna be locked, isn't it? Why is this locked? I guess we're gonna need to use the portaloo again. I wonder if the portaloo won't be there. I'm guessing we're gonna go out back. It's called Don't Look Down. That lemonade must have done something. Oh god. Did he spike the lemonade to make a shit? Does he just have a poo fetish? Is that gonna be it? I've got a horrible feeling that's gonna be it. Everything seems to be focused around the poo. Yeah, the portaloo has gone. I guess the porta potty is just gone. I guess I'll have to use this. She's gonna look down while she's pooping. Ugh, this is disgusting. Oh, his face is gonna be there. What the hell is- where the hell is my toilet? That sound, was that Greg? Hang on, did I just go down the toilet? I did. I went down the trap door. Oh, this is not what I was expecting at all. Oh, uh, what the fuck? What is this? Where the hell is Greg? Why would he be in the toilet? Answer me, you bald-headed skin flap. <laughs> Come now, no need to get violent. Go see him on the toilet. What? Oh no. This is I don't control this by the way. Stop. The shit. It's a lie. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Uh, that was a uh, an interesting little experience, and uh, I hope you guys will enjoy uh, this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. Let me know what you thought in the comment section. If you'd like to see these once a month, like rounding up a few of the Ichiro releases, I picked these at random, and uh, I think it was fun, even if some of them were awful. Uh, anyway, thanks for listening, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.